Okay. This is a 2,500 gallon tank. It's 10,000 gallons in total. Uh, they scale down the side of the building there. We have our vortex filter. We've got a little bit of rain going on right now. And what you can see down here is that first flush coming off of the roof. It won't actually start going into the tank until the rain starts really coming down. And here it comes now. So that rain is coming in off the roof, down the downspout, into the vortex filter. And that four inch pipe on the side goes into the top of the tank there. And then that six inch pipe coming down is gonna be your, your first flush. So now at this point, we've got a really heavy downpour but you see not a whole lot of water coming out of that six inch. So what it's doing is it's spinning around, going through a stainless steel screen, filtering that water and going into the top of the tank. That ensures that the water in the tank is as clean as possible for use. There's the overflow. Okay, here's another one that we have on the side of the building. We've got the vortex filter. and then the rain coming off the roof. You see not a lot of water coming out of that six inch pipe coming down the uh, first flush pipe. Cause all that water's being spun through the vortex, through the stainless steel filter and into the tank. As you can see the overflow is working good there. So the tank is filled up to the top. It looks like we just need to put a maybe a drain at one of those storm drain stub outs to keep that area from flooding. That pipe hasn't been painted yet, that's why it's it's that color. But anyways, that's it. That's how the vortex filter works.